This video is about setting up Nathan in your server for usage in OpenWebUI. So um, you could also do that with link flow, flowwise, or any other workflow that you want. Most of them could be connected in roughly the same way, but I'll do it with Nathan. So what we need for Nathan is simply we run the docker image once again. This is in Docker Compose file. So once we're in the folder, what we need to do is simply running docker compose up d. There's one different thing. Uh, you see that here the network is the network OU network, which is the network used by OpenWebUI. This is important to make the connections between the doc the dockers. Note that once the docker is up, we can open a browser and go to HTTP HTTP localhost uh, port six uh, five six seven eight. And then we can set up an owner account. Once we're here, we can create a workflow. And then what we can do is we can link them to OpenWebUI. So I make a simple workflow that doesn't do anything just to show you how to link it to OpenWebUI. Uh, so we use a web trigger node. This will give us a URL that we'll use in OpenWebUI to reach Nathan, this workflow. And then to have an answer and have the answer we want, we can use the respond to webhook node uh, that will respond with, for example, the first and community item, or you can uh, you can make it the way you want it to. So what we simply need here is this URL in production. So, so we copy paste it. You can change the path here. So here is simply uh, uh, I call it open web UI. Then I copy paste this URL. I save the workflow, I activate it. And then when I go to open web UI, I go into the admin panel, uh, functions, and then I create a pipe function. So for a pipe function, this is simply a Python function. I'll show you one example. So to create a pipe function, we simply need to click this button here. And then we have the template for a, for a function in OpenWebUI. You can use this one to make uh, to make new ones. Or for now, I use one I've already made to connect to Nathan. Um, one main thing you need to know about is valves. Those are simply the variable you use to uh, to give the function. Uh, another thing you need to answer before creating a function is a function name which will be used in OpenWebUI to call this function, to name it simply, and a function description. Uh, so let's simply do that. Then we save the function. This is a simple warning if you use something on the internet. And then to use the model, we need to activate, to enable it. But first, once again, if you want to change the, the variables, the valves, you can also do that directly from here. Clicking here, you can simply use the default value if they exist already, or can double click and then change the name of the variable and save them. So for now, I just verify that um, here, this is the link to my webhook in Nathan. Save it. Then I simply need to enable it. And when I create a new chat, the Nathan model is available. And now I can discuss with this. 